This is a nice example of a 1940s Advance electric shocker. Um, <clears throat> Advance would make these and uh, they would be out on routes in, uh, in candy stores, in arcades. Uh, they were very popular. Uh, they could have a one cent or a five cent denomination. This one happens to have a nickel. <clears throat> What's nice about this particular machine, it has been restored, but looks like the original chrome on the coin entry um, is, uh, is still intact and in very nice shape. The chrome on each of the handles is uh, in very nice shape. Has a little bit of minor pitting, but certainly nothing too uh, <clears throat> uh, distracting. And uh, it does have the uh, uh, original advanced lock um, and uh, the top sign that uh, invites people to challenge your friends. Um, and as it instructs here, you basically put a coin into the uh, coin entry. When you, um, when you turn, the, uh, when you turn the, the handle, what you'll hear is that the, um, there's two things going on, two noises that are buzzing. One is the timer uh, that is basically turned on the electric circuit, and the second is the electrode that's buzzing inside. So the timer allows the electrode to come on for a little while, and then as it times out, the electrode stops buzzing. Uh, during that time, basically, you're supposed to grab this left handle is fixed, and the right handle is the one that turns and allows you to turn up uh, the amount of the shock that you get, and uh, those instructions are there on the card. Um, luckily, I uh, have an excuse in that I have to hold my phone, so I will uh, not be demoing it live, but uh, the machine does, in fact, give a uh, rather strong shock. Um, it does have a, uh, a period correct one and a half volt, a modern one and a half volt air alkaline battery, uh, but it has a uh, reproduction label on it, so it looks like an old battery. Overall, a really nice working example. We twist the handle, and when we let go, we hear both the, the buzz that's loud, and if you listen, you can hear a clicking of a timer. And again, you would be able to grab the handles and turn, and as you turn, you would increase the amount of the shock that you get. And then as the timer, clicks off, you will uh, hear the buzzing electrode also stop. So during this time, you can see one person maybe trying it a few times or maybe uh, one or two people trying it. Um, that was, it was meant to try and attract people. These were trade stimulators that would attract attention inside of, an, uh, inside of a, a store. And then um, after a little while, the timer uh, clicks off and the electrode shuts off and it's ready for the next uh, victim, or should I say player. So the 1940s Advance Electric Shock Machine.